today I wish to share with you a hadith of Anas radiallahu an. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us quite clearly. And he was speaking to one of his family members, telling them that, you know what? Why don't you listen to what I have to say? Or would you like to listen? You wouldn't lose anything if you listened to what I said, subhanallah. So he gave a small introduction. He said, every morning and evening, call out to Allah using the following words. Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyumu. So that is calling out to Allah. Oh, you who is ever living, alert, you know, you know what's going on. The minute you say, oh, you who is all alive, you know, al hay the one who is alive, yes, but he is alive for you as well in the sense that he will take care of every one of your needs. You're calling Allah with a beautiful name of his, Ya Hayyu, oh, you who is ever living. And this name has very deep meaning in it. And then we say, Ya Qayyum, Qayyum is a, the one who is present for you at your service, for your protection at all times and in all places. Al Qayyum, the all alert, all powerful, all able, all in one. Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum. Just by saying those names of Allah, you've already praised Allah tremendously. If only you understood what that meant. Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum. Imagine we are expressing our we are expressing our weakness and the fact that we are incapable of protecting ourselves except with the help of Allah. And we are dependent on Allah when Allah is totally independent. Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum, I'm calling out to you. Oh, you who is all alert, all alive, all capable, all able, who is there for me at all times, in all places, who is able to do anything and everything. Oh, you, now we're calling out to Allah. Bi rahmatika astaghith. It is your mercy that I desperately seek. Istighatha. Istighatha is when you desperately seek something from Allah and Allah alone. Istighatha is not allowed except from Allah. Aslih li sha'ni kullah. Make good for me all my matters, all my affairs, all my issues. Make them good for me. Subhanallah. We're calling out to Allah with beautiful words saying, Oh Allah, make good for me. I desperately seek your mercy. All my affairs, I want you to make them good for me no matter what I'm going through, be it a health matter. Be it, for example, financial matters, social matters, your marriage, your whatever it may be, some uncertainty, a job, anything it may be, aslihli sha'ni kullah, your deen, your dunya, your akhirah, your religion, your world, your worldly living, as well as your hereafter, aslihli sha'ni kullah, make good for me all my affairs, all my matters, all my things, everything. Be there for me, O Allah. وَلَا تَكِلْنِي إِلَىٰ نَفْسِي طَرْفَةَ عَيْنِ And don't leave me alone even for the blink of an eye. Don't leave me to attend to myself. Don't leave me to myself alone that you are not with me. Even for a moment, I need your mercy at all times for every moment while I'm awake, while I'm asleep, while I'm here, while I'm there. When I remember you, when I am oblivious of you, may Allah never make us oblivious of him. May Allah protect us at all times. So we are saying, وَلَا تَكِلْنِي إِلَىٰ نَفْسِي طَرْفَةَ عَيْنِ Don't leave me to myself, even for this, the moment that it takes to blink an eye. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be there for us at all times. May he help us. May he grant us. May he guide us. May he open our doors. May he truly be uh, serving his mercy upon us and showering his blessings upon us at all times. He is al Hay, al Qayyum. My brothers and sisters, did you know that it's very important to try and learn the supplications that were made or taught by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as well as those that are in the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding.